This is an article that came out in the Chicago Tribune, January 14th, 2018. This is Senator Dick Durbin. Some of you might have heard because he was in the room with Trump when he made his shithole comment about Haiti and Africa. And he so far is the only one that has come forward in front of the mainstream media to confirm that Trump indeed said these things. As far as the Republicans, none of them have really showed their face like he has to confirm what Trump said. This is the Democrat senator from Illinois, Dick Durbin. And he was actually the only Democrat in the room. All of the others uh, in the room were Republicans. So he was the only one. And there were 11 Republicans along with Trump. So I just want you to listen to what he said. And, and this is really significant, even to us in the Black community. Because mm -hmm. let me tell you, if a man that is president hates the black people that come from abroad to live here, then believe me, he hates the ones from within as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this video so you can hear what he has to say. Hold on, I'm gonna start that over. So you can hear what Senator Dick Durbin has to say. All right, let me just get this started. Mm -hmm. We arrived at noon to make our presentation to the president. Uh, to our surprise, he had someone in the White House that invited five other members of Congress. Uh, I'll go through the list so it's complete. Kevin McCarthy, the Republican leader of the House. Bob Goodlatte, who was the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman Diaz Ballard and Senators Tom Cotton of uh, Arkansas and Senator David Perdue. We sat down in the White House and Senator Graham began to read our agreement. Uh, that we had uh, wanted the president to support. If you'll remember, a few days before, he encouraged us to do this. Come up with a bipartisan plan that solves the problem of DACA and immigration. Uh, and as Senator Graham started to read the plan, uh, the president started making comments and asking questions. And that's when things deteriorated rapidly. When we talked about those in the United States on temporary protected status, uh, there was a comment they were from El Salvador and Honduras and Haiti. Haitians, he said, we don't need more Haitians. Then we went on and the president started commenting on immigration from Africa. And that's when he used those sickening, heartbreaking remarks saying those shitholes send us the people that they don't want. He repeated that. He didn't just say it one time. We talked about different aspects of immigration. I told him First, that if he singled out Haiti, the reason was obvious uh, when we're talking about hundreds of thousands of those who are in the United States. And then we talked about this issue that they characterize as chain migration. Chain migration is when people who are here petition for members of their family to join them. And I said to him that that term, chain migration, was so hurtful to so many people, particularly to African Americans who remind us that they migrated to America in chains. And he said, that, that's a good line, uh, dismissing it. And I talked about the fact that behind this is an attempt for families to be whole and supportive of one another, something that in our country we've always honored. They dismissed it. At the end of this conversation, it was clear the president had rejected our bipartisan plan uh, and told us to go back to work and find something else. I don't think that it's likely there'll be another bipartisan plan coming forward. I want to tell you, I left that meeting in the Oval Office in the White House sickened, sickened and heartbroken. I cannot imagine that in the history of that room, that hallowed room where the President of the United States goes to work every day, there has ever been a conversation quite like that. It was vile, it was hateful, it was racist. There were witnesses. There were 12 of us in the room. I was the only Democrat uh, who was in that room, but I'm hopeful that Republican senators will step up and confirm what I've just told you. It happened. I'm saying it because it's true. Senator, there's no possible way. Did the president reach a new low yesterday? 
I, I don't know that I can measure depth when it comes to this president, but I will tell you that uh, I came back shaken, personally and politically shaken by what he said. So no possibility for a deal like that? I, I just, I don't think so. I think the opposite is true. Here's what we're counting on. We're counting on Republicans to step forward and say that this attitude, this approach, these comments are absolutely unacceptable. We're asking them to join us in this bipartisan effort to solve this problem, to present to the president our solution. If they have a better one, bring it forward. But for goodness sakes, if they don't, step up and join us. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. So you heard from Dick Durbin, who was in the room when Trump made that shithole comment. He was there. All right. So I'm not going to really go through the article only because it really repeats everything that he said in the video, y'all. It really does. Um, and of course, Trump comes out after everything started pouring into the media to deny things. I mean, here's his tweets. Um, he does what racists do. I mean, they make a derogatory statement and then turn around and deny everything. I mean, we have seen this all throughout history and you will continue to see it, ladies and gentlemen. But here's Donald Trump's uh, tweet. This one's from January 12th, 2018. The language used by me at the DACA meeting was tough, but this was not the language used. What was really tough was the outlandish proposal made a big setback for DACA. All right. So then here is another tweet. Never said anything derogatory about Haitians other than Haitians is obviously a very poor and troubled country. And Trump, by the way, who got that country that way? They didn't get that way by themselves. You know, you know, this is why no one likes America. You do this to these countries and then turn around and keep pointing out that they're poor and troubled. Who got them that way? Never said, take them out. Made up by Dems. It was only one Dem in the room, by the way. I have a wonderful relationship with Haitians, but he's throwing the Haitians out. He's throwing them out. And if you know this is a poor and troubled country, why are you sending them back when they've already established themselves in the country? They got jobs. They're getting up every day being productive citizens, but you're sending them back to a poor and troubled country. Probably should record future meetings. Unfortunately, no trust. So Trump is in denial mode, y'all. Are we shocked? No. Remember when he spoke to La David Johnson's widow, he denied everything he said in that conversation, and witnesses were there hearing him on that too. You know, <laughs> he has a track record of saying trashy shit and then turning around and denying it. This is just the nature of Donald Trump. And he's one of many, unfortunately. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice. And also come and join me over on Black Junction TV and on blackspot.com. And if you can become a patron, please do. Peace, family.